everybody, how y'all doing? We're going to do a little testing here. Don't worry, don't worry, you don't have to answer any questions or participate in the test, you just need to watch. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch what happens with this block here. Uh, let's see. As you can see, it's nice and brown and nasty on the inside. But that's got a fresh bore job done to it. That is one of the core motors that was tore down. I think that's actually number one. Where I had to put the evaporust in the four cylinders to get them loose so I could turn it over. Well, I've had somebody make a claim if it doesn't come off in the hot tank he has, it's not coming off. I can guarantee you, you can wipe that rust and it's coming off that block. If you can wipe it and it comes off on your finger or on a rag, it's going to come off in that motor running. And where's that rust going to go? Right into your oil filter, your oil. If it makes it through the filter, it's going right to your bearings and destruction is happening. I mean, I am not being sponsored by anybody in doing this. I'm doing this on my own free will. I acquired, I busted my butt. We got a barrel of fresh evaporust. And already, it's already saved me money. My pump there, that's supposed to go in the engine oil barrels. I wouldn't put in there because I had some rust on it. Well, that's been sitting in there since we got that barrel unloaded this morning. And the pump looks like brand new. So by the time I'm done, it's going to do two things. It's going to clean that old pump up and make it safe to be able to be used in a... I'll disassemble it, wash it out to get the vapor rust out so it doesn't uh, cross-contaminate the oil. But uh, it's already saved the drum pump. So it's already... It's already earned its keep on one thing already. And I gotta... And I was testing to see if the pump was going to pump up because it's been a long time since it's been used. And in the process, I pumped up some. And uh, this harmonic balancer, I know it's a little dark over here, but it was still rusty. And you can see it's cleaning it. So... It's uh, cleaning that harmonic balancer up. But before I put any in there, okay, there, here, look at this motor. I mean, we got the rust. Would anybody, okay, and you see back there where it's clean? That's where I had it in the vapor rust before. And I can see there's rust in the oil passages there in the lifter valley. This needs a severe cleaning. So, we are going to dunk. <laughs> this block in there and make a few pail trips over and put that block in so take a good look at it now it's when it comes out of that barrel it should look like a new motor so I won't continue getting this set up be right back okay now I'm going to explain something because I can hear somebody say why are you so worried about the rust this rust out here on the surface on the outside that's not what I'm worried about what I'm worried is about is all this. And you guys can see the line. Come on, Huck. There we go. Where I had this dunked in the vapor rust before. But if you, I don't know if we can get that to show up or not, but yeah. You see down in the hole there in the lifter bore? That's rust. And I can hear people saying now, well, you can take a wire brush and brush that and scrub it. Well, yes, you can. But then you got to worry about the wires breaking off and staying in there if they don't get washed out. Worse, I mean, that, when you do something now, it's all before any oil goes through the filter. Um, yes, I was able to bury brush the left her boards with a little bird brush but that doesn't got have the two the passages here for the lifters clean and like I said that's the evapor rust that's where the non evapor rust was and then up here on the inside you see it's brown up there around the camberings and all that it's brown right behind the there this is internal and I'm going to show you 
Okay. Fingers as clean as can be. Eh, it's not showing up. Okay, here we go. We'll take this white rake here. And look at that. It's turning brown. Now tell me that ain't gonna wash off in your engine oil. And where's that gonna go? So we're gonna put this in the barrel. Unfortunately, I gotta put it in and get it back to where it's gonna go. And by the time this is ready to come out, I'll have the shop rearranged. But uh, there you go. You can see where the evaporous was before. That is what we're dealing with. I'll give you one a 360 all the way around. I mean, have surface thrust on the outside. I mean, even up in here, we got the rust up in here. You can even see the line where it cleaned. So. All right, well, I'll get this in and I'll start the process of pumping and dumping. So, and get that submerged. And this will be enough room. I'm also going to take that 400 crankshaft there that's an aftermarket and get it in there so we can get that clean and to see if it did have a bearing grab on it or if it's one that can be sent off and be polished and be used. So, I'll get this ready. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. Eh, no, not really. But I notice even the suds is taking on a brown color. Yeah. It's been a few buckets. Even the main caps, after just what little bits ran over them, have made it look a lot better already. So, I want to sit down. And that's that block of main caps. I haven't got the crank. I want to get this submerged. Then I'll put the crank in. <sighs> Holy moly. <laughs> one bucket at a time small bucket I got small parts in I'm going to kind of keep that one for small stuff oh here we'll do this look at this pair of vice grips see those nice and rusty right into the mix there we go I only had a little bit more there so that's covered but We'll check on those here in a little bit, so. And again, like I said, I'm not being sponsored by these guys. And if they see this video and like it, we can talk. Uh, I've already got possible some work of cleaning up small parts for another person, so. We'll see. This might turn into a new thing here. Okay, we're going to clean this 400 crank too. And here's where we're at. Fluid level is there. And my pump quit working. So maybe that's telling me I got plenty in there. I know I put the crank in there, it's going to raise it. So uh, here we go. And this stuff is not harsh. You can put your hand in it. Alright. There it goes. Alright, pretty much all in there. And you can see the staining. Well, not on camera. But you can see the staining from the woo that it's cold. That's cold. Anyway, I'll be back. We'll let it sit for here for an hour and see what happens. Okay, I thought I better grab the camera and document this. Look at the side. You can see where it was cleaned with the other evaporous. Look at this. I'm like, okay. I showing my neighbor here, and I thought, well, we're going to see how it's doing. It's been in there oh a couple hours, and that stuff is still cold. And I just see a spot where it's not 100% yet, but we're going to check this out together right now. Let's see how it's doing in here. Oops. Look at that. You can see that it's almost ate that rust right off. Wow. And you remember how brown this was, people. 
Look, look at the rust that's come out. That's settled here in the cylinders. Wow. Holy moly. It's perfectly clean inside. Even look in the water jackets. It's taking the water, rust out of the water jackets. Once this gets to room temp, I think it's going to be pretty good. And the Eagle crank is starting to come clean too, so... I know everybody tells me if it's warm it works better, but I'm amazed with what's come out of this motor already. Wow! Okay, I added a couple of rocker panels too. There you go, see the rust on them? These are for a Monte Carlo. We're gonna see how those clean up. Yes, yeah, so I got rocker panels for my Monte Carlo. I am, I can see the part number on that crankshaft now. So, yeah. We're having fun with the evaporust. Okay, well, it's been just a little bit. And oh, my goodness. Oops, forgot the ceiling fans running. <laughs> And we did a test too. I took a rag, and yes, it, these rocker panels are cleaning up. That's sweet. That is so very cool. I mean, these were expensive rocker panels that another guy had bought and gave me with the car. So don't want to lock your guys' view. But we're gonna get these out of the. Yep, it's starting. in there. So, this stuff is really becoming quite nice. And it, you can put your hands in it, so it ain't going to hurt nothing. It's even cleaning up my little ball peen hammer. Really, when Haber looked at that and he goes, wow, that's not the same hammer. It's clean enough to start using again. Some of the rust is still there, but this has, I haven't had that in there as long as the block, so. And, uh, let's see. Okay. Remember that 400 crank that was so rusty? Oh, this stuff is cold. Once it gets up the room temp, that will help. Um, there's the 400 crank. I mean, it just wipes right off. The crank looks almost, yeah, the mains might have to be turned. Well, I don't know, that wipes right off. So, maybe I can take this in and get it polished. Not have to do anything to it. But, uh, alright. Need to get this. <laughs> so he's gonna go, he's gonna drop it, he's gonna drop it. Uh, hopefully not. That's what I wanted to get it to so we can see. Yeah, she will need to turn. It's got some pitting on it. Well, it depends on. But I can now see the part numbers on it. The thrust back here is cleaned up. Actually, it needs to soak a little longer. I just found a little bit more down. A little thicker rust. It takes a little more, which is normal of what I've done with this stuff. But let's see. It is an eagle crank, like the guy said. I can see the see the part number. So if it just needs a little bit more silken, so we'll do that. So we'll get this out of the way now. Ah! So, 
Whew. We'll get the block up. We're going to get it in the pot tank again. Ouch! Didn't need to fall over on me. Oh, that's smart. Well, let's bring the block up. I got it up off the bottom, so I'm going to... Oh, forgot that stuff. Let's see how this stuff's doing. That vice grip of... Vice grip of wires. Wow! That was close. That vice grip's... For his rest of Harmonic balancer. It's clean now. It can be used. Anyway, what I was going to do is, since it's cleaning all the water jacket out, I figured to swoosh it just like a... Give her a couple of swishes just like a wash machine and see what happens. Alright. Okay. Whew. Putting the block in the way I did, got a little more, a little more in there than what I want. But you do that too many times, you lose too much product. But oh, I suppose I can't get to those. I know. It's even cleaned up this chain. Let's get her out and get her in the hot tank. Or at least look at it. I might. Be any difference from what I put in there, that's for sure. Let's see. Look at the lifter valley on this. I mean, that is down to a usable block now. It's what's left there. Is a very usable block. But. The outside of it's just like a new block. And this was that first motor, and that was so brown in here you couldn't see nothing. I am very, very happy with this, so I want to let that drip and we'll get her in the hot tank and give it its wash. I almost forgot to show you before I put some self fetching primer on it. There you go. Now that is a block that is respectable. Yes, not 100%. This block had some serious, serious rust in it. I am surprised it comes in because this corner and that corner sit in dirt for a long freaking time. But I am happy with the results. But I want to get some matching primer on this before it flashes. I used a prep doll to wipe the cylinders down. Because my water's dirty and it was even a little staining, but here you go. A little and granted, there are some stains that well that didn't come out. I mean, this thing you couldn't even see anything before. I mean it was nasty. And uh 
<coughs> Cylinders are nice and shiny. I mean, this is a 400 block. It's got some a little, a little more severe rust. We're under a test. Um, I want to let it sit in here the rest of the night. <coughs> now, I know this stuff is still really, really cold because it's hauled in a cold semi and I had to haul it out here cold. But the uh, last thing I'll add to this video is the 400 Eagle crank. And I tell you, amazing what that was at the beginning of the video, too. So we're going to dump this. Well, heck, I'll show you guys going, show it going in. Why not? Now I got one more block to clean. Um, yep, we're still recording. Uh, definitely got to have your WD-40 ready or whatever you use to protect your box. Because it did start flashing pretty fast. I mean, whatever happens in there, it takes it to clean cast. It's really good to go, so. And I just like this block to soak a little, because it's got some pretty good rust in it too, so. And being here, you kind of don't want to leave it alone. So, turn I'll put this in, let it soak. These are the builds coming up, guys, by the way. So I'm trying to get them all prepped up and ready to go. So. And I know you can thank the EPA for the stuff not getting clean like it used to. Oh, come on. Really? cleaned up the wood and all. Uh, nice little hammer to start using on the motors again. So when the crank's done, we'll finish with that, but yeah. Be interested to see what that box looks like tomorrow. Okay, I wanted to show you that crank before I put the WD-40 on it. And what I'm learning is where there's a real heavy rust, I should probably hit it with a wire wheel or something. But wow, I'm yeah, I bet you the main's going to have to. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to take it in and have it polished. But uh, I'm going to spray that down with WD 40 and we'll take it out and look at it. Okay, it does show up with the camera. Well, there you go S 05 12 21. I can see it on the camera better than I did in real life, but look at that crankshaft. Sprayed it down with WD-40 to protect it. And it looks, it does look like it had a little bit of main bearing trouble, but I don't know if it actually damaged the crank. But by the fill of the weight, that's a lightweight crank. And I don't know if anybody wants to take time to look up that part number. I know it's an externally balanced because it had a weighted flywheel on it. The harmonic balancer net I didn't get with this, but uh, yeah. So we're down to the old hunting truck motor to clean. We got one of the 406 builds in there. 
I want that block to look like this and like I said you can see there's some dark coloring but that block was severely rusted and what I like about that is the oil passages are clean my neighbors could not believe how clean that stuff come so um, and I'll say again I was not sponsored by Evaporust to say any of this stuff this stuff is really working I bought that barrel on my own and it's turned in to be well worth it to have the peace of mind knowing that the inside of these blocks are clean I mean even the water oh that's what I was going to show you guys even the water jacket ugh. yeah kind of hard to show you now but because I got some primer in there but I'll still show you. It's not even... Well, that one's pretty good yet. That's too dark in there, but... I mean, it, it took the scale and everything out of the water passages. I mean, look at inside. There was rust up there in the... By the uh, push... Uh, lifters. Everything is now clean inside and out. There is no rust left anywhere in this motor. And you notice there's where the hidden plug goes. So, yes, that. And there's the look at the cylinders. There's no damage from that to the cylinder walls. Uh, and that's a fresh bore. That block I just took in and had bored because I got a set of pistons there. Now that looks really good. I really wish I had the rods for that. In the, that this motor might just be put together as a stock every day run the motor if it was standard I had something else I could have done with it but it is 30 over and that is the core motor I think number one that's the first one that started this series of messing with the evaporust on these old rusty motors which I gotta get over to my cousins before they haul them there's two or three in the back of a whole pickup I'm gonna load up and then he's got some in the shop I guess I'm gonna get and again there what I've noticed though to help this stuff work is you got to have it degreased so take it to your machine shop have them acid bath it and that and then I let this stuff set here and dry so the rust is dry didn't spray it with anything wasn't worried about flash rust on it because I know it was going to go into the vapor rust eventually and then put it in the vapor rust wash it I mean I, I've got a jet spray not everybody's got that wash it and then have your protectant of your choice to wipe the block down with and have the color of paint that you want just to keep because it really cleaned this one because like I said the outside surface so if you look at it what it looks like now to what it started out at the beginning of the video and it is the same block nothing no witchcraft's been done no trickery nothing this is the true stuff that went into that evaporust and was washed cleaned and then, then WD-40 and protected with what I do so and I guess the next test is I'm going to let that 400 block set overnight or until I get here tomorrow and uh, we'll take pull that out and I'll probably do the hunting over hunting motor there one reason I kind of did the 400 next uh, so I don't get main caps messed up and Here's the main caps. I mean, they look like a new cast. The bolts even look good. So, I mean, the thread, I mean, everything just looks tremendously well. So, anyway, so that's my dealings with Evaporust. Um, I've now got a peace of mind knowing that there's no rust left in that motor to come off to do any damage and have a comeback because something failed so I guess when building the motor you can't be too clean and uh, it's kind of fun taking something that was nasty to making it look like it was just made and ready to be assembled so it's cooled off now um, that's another thing I learned a while years ago is when you got a warm block that's been 
in there, don't put it in a plastic bag right away. Let it cool down naturally so there's nothing left to sweat. So, anyway, everybody, stay tuned, see what the 400 does, and yeah, the 80 overs there, you kind of taste of it on the end, uh, but we'll get back with that 80 over, I think the weather's supposed to be decent, we'll open the door and let her run and get do a couple, do a cold start with it and show you how well it starts, so we'll get a little more run time on it, then we'll pull the plugs and do another compression test on that too, so anyway everybody, thank you. Stay safe and stay blessed out there.